beautiful world welcome to my channel where I clearly make crappy content because who's really watching today I cried for an hour I had very dark thoughts and it's emotionally draining I tried to cry as quietly as possible because I didn't want my mom to know it's because I want to keep it inside because I feel like any time that I talk about my feelings or my thoughts I'm just burdening whoever I am talking to about it even if someone's paid to hear me talk about it, I feel like I'm burdening them. But, whatever. It's the same thoughts every day. It's probably more intense. That's my theory. Probably more intense today. Uh, because... PMS period is due in a few days. It started with me thinking that maybe I hope too much. You know, at some point I was just thinking, you know, maybe I should just stop hoping. Giving, giving up on hope would probably be better. Because I hope I've never wished anyone bad. Any bad well-being except for the man who did things to me as a child that's the only person and that's more just wanting justice because I didn't get that but I've never wished anything bad with all the things that have happened to me with all the, the people who I thought were friends that turned around and stabbed me in the back. I would never wish them bad. All the people I've dated who have lied to me, cheated on me, tricked me, eh, same as lying, whatever. I just, I've never, I've never wished them bad. And I don't feel any need to but so many things I've suffered through so many things in my life I hoped that there would be some end you know something that would be there and show that it was all worth it but even though I still hope now I think it's pointless to hope it's kind of ironic I, I hope but yet I think it's pointless to hope I don't know if I've ever done anything to deserve all the suffering. Maybe in a past life, if you believe in that, I don't know. But I've tried to help people as much as possible uh, with whatever I can do. Because obviously I'm not rich, I can't. I can't help people that way. I can barely afford my own life, the life that I have. I mean, even if I did make more money, I would, I would use that to help people. I, I see my life and how I've struggled. And I feel like that if I made more money, I would help people because I don't want people to struggle like I do. I don't, I don't wish that on. 
people I don't even know. Like, why would I wish them? It's tough even trying not to cry right now because it's just... <sighs> even if I am deserving of love, whatever. I I don't even think I'm worth it. Like why? Why would I be worthy of love? Why why me? But if I was worthy of love, you know, then why? Why don't? Why haven't I experienced it? Like, it's different with my family. That's that's family love. But I, I've put my all into every person and maybe a couple I've ended it because I didn't see a future because either I just felt bad for them and I wanted to help and I thought maybe that's how I could help I don't know to show somebody love and that was one case. The other one, I just, I thought it was great, but the, the person obviously wasn't willing to put their all. They said that they loved me, but they weren't, they clearly weren't willing to make the effort. Even a little effort would have been great, you know, just stepping out of that bubble. But I've been lied to, cheated on, been verbally abused by people I've dated. I've, <laughs> even in high school, there was a guy that was dating me. And this is how it ended. Uh, he asked me, I'm, I'm glad he was honest, he asked me that if, if we could go on break because he wanted to see if another girl liked him back. So I told him, despite me wanting to be with him, I told him that you know if you like her. If you want to be with her, then we shouldn't be together. It's best for the both of us. It's just ridiculous. But so much. But I don't even think it's enough. I don't think it's enough to deserve to be worthy of myself having that love because all I want I want somebody to love me as much as I love them willing to put in the effort to make it work willing to communicate about how they're feeling and to listen to how I'm feeling They don't need to be like Harvard student or whatever. They don't need to be like extremely smart. I just want somebody who is willing to talk to me and to be honest. I don't need a lot. I would live in a cabin in the woods. I would live with no electricity. I, I know how to take care of myself in that situation and like 
you know, living without any electricity or, you know, modern plumbing. But I would live in that just so I could have that one person. If that was if that was what I needed to do to have that one person, I would do it. But I still don't think I'm even worthy of that person. Because why would I be? I'm not I'm not special. It's not like I'm pretty. I'm I don't I don't even think I'm average. Plain I guess I don't know. I don't like playing games. Playing mind games with people. I just I tell it like it is. If I like you, I like you. If I love you, I will tell you I love you. If you're gonna matter to me, I'm gonna say it. If I know you're gonna matter to me, and I will know pretty much right away if a person is gonna matter to me. I really don't think that I'm worthy of mattering to anybody, but yet, I still hope that I am. My thoughts and my feelings are complete contradictions. I mean, I thought earlier, before I started crying, Maybe I should have some of that ice cream that I bought for myself. Maybe that'll help to distract me from feeling this. But as I was upset, I lost any appetite. And if I didn't eat that ice cream, I would feel sick after. Because that's what happens when I try to eat when I'm upset. I just, I decided, you know, crying will probably help. I had exercise for two hours, vigorously, because I was feeling that buildup of emotional stress. I was feeling like I wanted to punch a wall and scream at the top of my lungs, so I exercised. That feeling of wanting to scream at the top of my lungs and punching the wall, that went away, but obviously this this did not go away. My mind, anybody's mind, is so complex. So I don't know that I'm not special, but I always hope that I'm worthy of being special to somebody. But again, I don't think I'm worthy. I hope I'm worthy, but I don't think I'm worthy. <laughs> so stupid, so ridiculous. Yeah. And these are just, these are not just thoughts that come up during this whole quarantine thing. This, this, I've been feeling this for years. Every day. It's always on the days when it's just the littlest thought. It can just be the littlest thought. Like, why do why do I even try? But you know, days like this, it just gets overwhelming. I don't know if anybody ever watches this who feels the same way. Just know that you're not alone in feeling that. That's all I can really say. I, I hope for you to not feel that way. I don't 
I don't wish anybody feeling this way ever. Because just the fact that I think of myself as not worthy is upsetting. Uh, upsetting is an understatement. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.